Welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing and reviewing from WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series 3 Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I've got a nice new backdrop by the way. Just to show this off. WrestleMania 40 side cap I believe it's called display there. That's very nice for me. Uh, but I think it worked for the background so comment down below if you like it or not. That'd be nice. <laughs> uh, so we've got Brutus here, the rest of the set. I don't think we have any reviewed any of these things in this set. No, because I cannot find these three. This is the three that I am looking for. Just one day. I don't want to pay like 50 quid for them. That's why I've been having to see, because 28 plus something's clipping is ridiculous. But anyway, uh, this was reduced down to £10, UK-wise. Uh, this great hit series, in my opinion, uh, series 3-wise, has been a complete flop. Uh, let me know your opinions if you have any <laughs> in the comments below. Uh, my main issues with it is it's just not... You've chosen weird figures for the selection. Like, you've chosen two Hollywood figures in The Rock and Roddy Piper. You've chosen Brutus, which was only a couple years old. The only ones that made Seth sense was the Seth from the Typhoon. Like, you could have done a nice Piper... Elite, we've not had a nice long time. So let's get Brutus out of here. So. There's Brutus out of the packaging. Let's move the packaging out of here. Do a bit of a zoom in. Hang on. So we're back. So the accessories you do get here, you do get a nice silver tag team title. Have had to put the torch light on. Just looks a bit better in my opinion. You get a pair of fisted, fisted gloves here. Very nice. And the pegs are painted. So until I do give you efforts on that. Um, then you have... Velcro removed, so I am very happy with that. It's not just plastic on its own. This jacket. Again, when I normally do these reviews, I uh, don't normally cover what I... <laughs> not, not what I normally cover. I cover like, to cover everything I can, but I don't normally cover what I don't like about it <laughs> much of the time. Uh, then you've got this nice jacket. It does have a nice bit of Velcro there. I don't know if you could see that. Bit of velcro there and a bit of velcro on the other side there. I do like the pattern. Dream Team Brutus Barber Beefcake. I think we did get a Greg Valentine, which would have worked perfectly in the set. Take out the Hollywood Rock, uh, take out the Piper, give us Greg. Would have been perfect, Mattel, but, but no. No, it must put that terrible Hollywood Rock figure out there. And uh, then you have a removable bow tie. Bow tie. Uh, very nice detail. Uh, yeah. Rather than that, I do like the gear. Very nice closer gear. I think it does match with that Rick Valentine. If you do. The Dream Team. Very like the muscle. Not biggest fan of the head. I understand what that's supposed to be looked like, but it just, just feels off. I think it should have been a little bit darker. It's like a lightish brown. I think you should really get like a black... And then with a bit of tight bit of brown, but that's just me being a bit hippy, not hypocritical. I struggle with words. <laughs> um, just a bit. I think it could have been a little bit darker. But rather than that, tag tie is a nice accessory. Jacket's very good. Removable bow tie, dicky bow. My only other complaint really is where you, this little separation piece, where you lift up the elbows. Not a fan of that. Couldn't really do anything about that, except maybe paint the joint itself. Uh, Articulation-wise, posing around, it's got a nice little crackle to it. <laughs> Don't know the best way to describe it. Gear itself is very good, very detailed. The holes are coloured. One of my main complaints for that Logan Paul leap is the holes weren't coloured. Just generally didn't like, like that figure at all. Uh, rather than that. Everything's perfect. Pretty good in my opinion. Not perfect. Maybe the hair could have been a different colour. I just don't think it was a weird choice to choose this figure. 
because there's nothing really new to do about it. But hey, no complaints on my end. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. No, I can't really give it an 8. It's like I'm thinking slowly because I don't write scripts for these videos. Why would I write scripts? It's my honest reactions. Uh, I gave it a 6 because of all the elbow. The issue with the elbows. It's really throwing me off. Like, look at that. Ugh. Ugh, I fell over in disappointment. So yeah, uh, so comment down below so let me know what your opinions are on this figure. And comment below if you like the backdrop or not. Because I do. <laughs> uh, more likely will be staying for a very long time. So, if you did enjoy, if you can, consider liking, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't done so already, that'd be great. Thank you, and goodbye.